So uh, here it looks, uh, here it is with all, uh, uh, all of the trim pieces on. And as you can see, it really um, makes a nice difference here on the front um, of, this, of the speaker. I think it looks great. Uh, the, uh, you know, kind of as I mentioned earlier, I think it actually uh, is an improvement over, you know, the stock uh, look of, of this version of, of La Scala. I think it is, um, it is, uh, I don't know, it just finishes it off. It looks less, um, you know, less like, uh, pardon the <laughs> expression, but it looks less like something built in, built in a garage, uh, and something look that, you know, it looks a little bit more, um, you know, uh, designed to be in your, in your living room or whatever. So, so yeah, much nicer. I think this will, uh, this will come out real well when it's all, you know, stained and done, um, you know, for everything else. This, um, you know, now makes a nice little little recess here. This is again, just a quarter, uh, quarter of an inch, um, but a nice little recess for probably a one eighth. Um, I may just leave it this way. I'm not 100% sure yet, but if I, uh, um, I will make a grill for this because I have some nice uh, grill cloth and stuff I think is going to look, look really good here. Um, or I may not. Uh, I'm going to make it regardless. I may or may not use it uh, in the end, but um, I'll use probably a 1 8 panel with a grill cloth and that'll be a real nice, um, you know, flush kind of insert right into, into here. And uh, I think it'll look, it'll look great. Um, not much else to say. One other thought, you know, I, I had as well. I know some people uh, with, with this version of La Scala, they talk about resonances here at the opening of the, the mouth uh, of the horn. And actually putting this quarter strip here, which is all, you know, glued and, and clamped and secured and whatever, because you're, you've got, I can't really see it very well here, but I think you can see it a little bit more better there. Yeah. So you've got grain here, um, you know, running sort of counter or opposite to um, what's, you know, the plywood structural too. This should add a little bit of rigidity um, as well to the cabinet. And, uh, you know, you've got a nice solid, you know, glued clamp frame all the way around. Um, I think, I think um, you know, this is really minor, but I think it'll um, potentially help a little bit with any um, residences out here because definitely it's going to add some, some um, you know, rigidity to this, this portion of the structure. So uh, all in all, really happy with it. One thing I would do differently, I had to cut these strips. These are not, um, you know, this is not something that I bought in the, in the store. I basically, um, you know, bought some uh, quarter inch um you know hardwood uh here this is this is again maple i can't get this in in uh in birch but the maple's close enough um and stains close enough to the birch that it'll do but this is quarter inch maple so i, I it's wider when i bought it but i sawed it into um three quarter inch strips if i had to do this again um i would i, I sawed them basically exactly quarter or exactly yet uh, three quarters sorry um, you know, same as the plywood. If I had to do this again, I'd make them just a hair wider than three quarter, and then um, you know, be able to sand, you know, just sand it flush with the with the sides instead of trying to make it exact. Because there's just it doesn't give me it doesn't give you much forgiveness. Um, you know, if if everything is not a hundred percent perfect, um, you know, I was able to get this one pretty darn good. But um, I think it just would have been easier if I, you know, if I left it just a hair wider than, than, than the three quarter. So uh, if I were going to build another set of these, or if you're doing this yourself and you're doing something similar, I would give yourself just a little bit of, of, um, uh, of additional width on this. And that way um, you can, you know, you can sand off the extra um, it just gives you a bit more room um, for, you know, for, um, to, you know, cover up any edging and things like that. So, but this one worked out okay. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the second one will work out just as well. And uh, like I said, all in all, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Now I've just got to do um, the banding around here. Little touch-ups here and there, and we're ready to completely finish this cabinet.
Okay, so I fully completed uh, the construction of the, of the uh, cabinets and I've just applied first coat of, uh, of stain on here so you can uh, get an impression of what, uh, of what the final um, result is going to look like. And uh, I've got everything done now. Um, all the edge banding uh, along here is uh, done, so no uh, exposed um, plywood edges or you know things like that. So it looks pretty good. The front um, again is complete. You can get a better look of it now with the uh, with the um, three quarter inch or, or sorry uh, one quarter uh, inch uh, trim on there, fully stained. So you know again looks nice. Doesn't. Uh, I don't think it detracts. I think it. I think it adds to the um, to the finished look of it. To be to be honest, um, so I think looking pretty good. You can't see uh, any uh, of the the nail heads unless you're really, you know, looking for it. Um, and I mean really looking for it. Um, so you you know certainly you can see here. This is you know pretty good camera you can you really can't see them uh, and there's no poly on here yet it's just stains so i think once uh you know once we get three or four coats of poly on here um probably five coats is what i'm going to do on this um you won't you you just won't see any of that unless you're really looking for it and um uh here's a look at the top you can see you know again the same thing right the top is face nail you can't see I can't see anything. It's really um, come out quite good. Now I did have to um, touch up a couple of the um, the filler spots over the nails, and I mostly dabbed all of them. To be honest, um, I probably didn't have to, but I did it anyway. Um, so of course the the wood filler, um, I used very little wood filler um, to cover the nail holes as much as as little as possible, um, but the stain doesn't you know absorb exactly the same into the wood filler as it does into the wood um so i use this um uh, just to, to get it a little closer this is uh just a touch-up marker brand's trade secret i got it at um got it at uh home depot um it comes in like a little touch uh, you know furniture touch-up kit or something like that uh i'm just trying to look for a color on here yeah this is just dark brown that's what it says on here um so just to give you an idea here, it's just basically, um, basically like a, you know, like a magic marker or, or whatever, permanent marker, um, but it's um, some sort of stain or something in there, but it's a little bit more permanent than, uh, than this. So uh, it just darkens up the uh, wood spots, you know, quite nicely. So I'll just, you know, here's one right here where you can just see a little bit where I've just sort of darkened it in line with the wood grain. Uh, again, once this is polyurethane, you won't, you won't see any of that um, unless you're really, really looking for it. And if you are, then you're not welcome in my house, I guess. Um, so it should it should be good. Um, really happy with it so far. Um, got the other one to do, and I think the next uh, look we'll get at this is uh, after I've got some polyurethane on there, and then uh, we'll see how that looks. Okay, time to check in uh, again here on our progress. So uh, I didn't bother filming the multiple, um, you know, coats of polyurethane and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm almost almost uh, completed that section now. So I've got four coats of poly on uh, these things, and uh, I'm just finishing up some of the remaining parts before I do the the final coat, which will be the fifth coat, of course. Uh, as I said earlier, and uh, then I will uh, uh, finish it off and and um, you know buff it to a to a satin uh, finish and all that stuff. But I had one more piece of construction left um, to complete, which was the bottoms, um, the bottom panels, and so uh, uh, so while I was taking a break from the other stuff, I decided to get those those finished. And so um, you can see one here, um, what I've done, I've got the panel uh, all, uh, which was already uh, cut to size. And so I've, uh, I've basically completed it, laid everything out. And uh, you can see here, um, you know, I've plotted out all of the uh, uh, screw holes to mount it to the bottom. Uh, did, uh, 
did a bit of a countersink here on, on all of these. Uh, I believe the uh, original factory versions had uh, had pan head screws on here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use, um, I'm going to countersink them um, and have a nice flush uh, bottom on this panel. I've done, uh, again, edge banding all around, and I've just taken some extra effort here just to make sure, um, you know, all these edges are sanded uh, slightly, slightly rounded so that there's nothing to, uh, there's no edges here to catch or anything like that to pull, um, you know, to ever ever pull this uh, this banding off. So I'm, I'm sure that's on there um, forever. Uh, and you'll see these other little holes here. So that is for, um, for the feet uh, to go on here. And so what I've, uh, I've, I'm using is these, um, these uh, um, feet here. And so they're fairly large um, metal foot. They're, um, these are made by, um, these are made by PV actually. Um, and uh, they're, I don't know, they're probably, probably an, um, probably an inch and a half uh, in diameter, inch and a half, might even be, might even be two inches uh, in diameter here. And so it's a nice, uh, heavy, sturdy, uh, sturdy foot to go on here on each, on each corner. And uh, they'll, they'll more than uh, be able to handle the weight. They've got a big, uh, heavy um, uh, rubber, um, sort of bushing uh, here and then the metal foot on here which will you know it'll help obviously just keep this whole section off of the um, off of the floor um, so really none of this should ever um, ever hit the floor anyway but these will these will keep them up um, um, you know fairly raised off the floor probably I don't know what that is probably probably uh, probably half an inch three quarters three quarters of an inch I guess um, and uh, because they're metal, they'll be uh, just help slide the speakers around. These things are going to be close on, oh, at least 150 pounds, maybe maybe more uh, than that when they're finished. Um, and um, you know, lifting these to position them is going to be really hard. So the ability to slide um, them a little bit on the floor, uh, you know, will be a bonus. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it for, for these panels. Um, these are going to be, uh, I'm going to use the same uh, black polyurethane um, stain and, uh, and finish in one um, to do these over. And then I'll probably put a final um, just clear coat of, of satin, one or two coats on there just for, you know, just for durability. But um, basically that's it. And this, so this was the very last um, actual construction that I had to do. For, uh, for these cabinets. So basically everything is now entirely built. Uh, it's just a matter of completing the finish on these and then they will be ready for, um, ready to add the, uh, the speakers and crossovers and all that.